Women groups in the country have started intense mobilization ahead of the 2023 general elections, but this time they're advocating for fellow female candidates and other male candidates that support the interest of women. The president, National Association of Women Entrepreneurs in Nigeria, Vera Undanusa, says women should only support candidates whose manifesto captures their needs. More than 600 women groups across the six geopolitical zones of the country and across key sectors, including non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations, religious, professional bodies, as well as top women entrepreneurs, organized a one million women march to support candidates that will implement women-friendly policies. We like to encourage women, and we like to encourage men, especially men that are in position of authority and power, to, to empower women. So I believe Nigerian women are happy with um, the giant strides um, Governor Yahya Bello is taking towards empowering them in the state, and that is good. We like to, we actually like to encourage and identify with men, great men, because any man that empowers and encourages a woman is a great man. I'm meeting him for the first time. The other time we came to Abuja. But the work that he's doing speaks very well for him. Where, for women in particular, the way he used to treat we women, that is why every one of us from all Nigeria confide today. We are trying to advocate for over 35% inclusion of women in governance. And right now, we know that in this country, there is only one governor who has done that so far. It's not that I'm conversing or trying to advocate. But women, where are you? Are we going to stay by the coal pot all our lives? We don't want to be there. We want to do something. We want to do greater things in life. And if we are not given the chance, how can we know how great we are? We are so happy that after so long, a Nigerian man in the African context has decided to include women in his functions. He has decided to engage women in his cabinets. And we now have 35 derivatives that we've been asking for in his government. And this is why we are saying we need 